Does this sound familiar? You're waiting in line somewhere with a friend and they're like, wanna listen to some hot jams? And you're like, um, obviously give me those hot jams. So they hand you one of their earbuds, but they are covered in orange and brown gunk. And so you like try to subtly try to wipe them off, but it doesn't work. So you have to put them in your ear anyways. You try to ignore how nauseous you feel about it. Well, listen up because we are gonna explain exactly what earwax is and whether or not you should actually be grossed out by it. First of all, earwax has another name within the scientific community, serumen. I'm assuming you have to say it like Sofia Vergara because earwax is actually very sensual. What's that? Oh, you just say it normally? Uh, oh, I, sh I should just say it normally. And it's not sensual at all? Roger that. So earwax, AKA cerumen, is a sticky substance that the body naturally produces within the ear. Usually it's comprised of a cocktail of oil, sweat, dirt, keratin, and dead skin cells, and it's cooked up within your outer ear canal, in between your middle ear, and the opening of your ear that you can touch. In the outer ear canal, you have special glands that produce the sticky, sticky, waxy stuff, as well as teeny hairs that work together with the cerumen to keep unwanted guests from crashing your inner ear party. Sort of like biological club bouncers. That's right, earwax's true intended purpose is to, get this, protect your ears. I know, weird right? How can something be so annoying but also so heroic? Not only does it effectively keep dangerous dirt out of your inner ears, but earwax also moisturizes the skin of your ear canal so it doesn't become itchy or flaky, which could lead to infections or irritation down the road. But maybe the strangest perk that earwax provides is being an insect repellent. Apparently many bugs hate the smell of earwax, and those bugs who still manage to fly inside get trapped by it. Apologies in advance for the weird nightmares you'll be having tonight. Fret not though, the junk that gets trapped doesn't stick around for long because earwax is constantly being circulated out of your ear, thanks to repeated jaw movements when you're talking or chewing. And even though it seems like you constantly have to flick bits of wax out of your ears in the morning, most of the time it leaves your ears without you even knowing it. But when you do find yourself with some earwax on your finger, do you ever like, inspect it? Don't worry, everybody does it, and it's actually a good idea to give your earwax a once over because the color and texture of it can speak volumes. Here is the rainbow of earwax. Yellow or orange and soft indicates newer stuff, fresh out of the ear oven. Brownish and firm indicates older stuff because the dirt and bacteria darken up the color and harden the texture. Grayish and flaky indicates wax that's been chilling on the outside of the ear longer than normal. Red tinged indicates blood, probably from some kind of scratch or injury in the ear canal. Runny and cloudy indicates you probably have an ear infection. Dark brown or black indicates that you've got something funky inside your ear or that the earwax is compacted. More on that in a second. Now that we know about the rainbow of earwax and all the magical things Sarumen does for our ears, it seems silly that we ever wanted to get rid of it, right? Well, it turns out forcing earwax out of your ears before it's ready to go is exactly what not to do. If you shower regularly, that's really enough of a cleaning for your delicate little ears. Even though it could feel good in the moment, anytime you put a foreign object like a cotton swab inside your narrow, tender ear canal, there's a high probability that you're still pushing earwax deeper in the canal where it's not supposed to be, which could very well lead to a blockage or infection. And procedures like ear candling, where someone legit sticks a long, hollow candle into your ear and lights it in the hopes of melting away the wax, are just elaborate ways to set yourself on fire or at the very least cause some really intense damage to your precious hearing organs. Usually our bodies know exactly how much earwax we need to pump out to keep our ears clean and healthy. But every once in a while, things can go haywire. Maybe you were recently in a super stressful or scary situation, which can accelerate earwax production. Or maybe you generally produce too much because you have abnormal ear canals. Whatever the cause, sometimes extra amounts of cerumen can leave you with a condition called earwax impaction. When the junk builds up so much that you have trouble hearing, or you feel dizzy all the time, or you're in a lot of pain. Truly the clearest and best option is to go to the doctor. I don't care how confident your parent is, I'm sure they're great, but only a medical professional should be emptying out all that backed up gunk. So what's the verdict here? Should you be thoroughly revolted by earwax on your friend's earbuds or not? As much as we deeply appreciate all that it has done for your friend's ears, earwax is still basically the boogers of your ears. It's made of dirt and bacteria, and it definitely should not be going into another person's ears. So yeah, it's gross as hell, and you should not be ashamed to vigorously wipe them off before using them. But maybe inform your pal about the wonders of earwax while you do it so you don't make them feel bad. 